Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to welcome you all to this fabulous spring extravaganza. Four days full of fun, hints, tips and loads of inspiration and not forgetting the open weekend. That's Saturday the 9th to the Sunday the 10th of March where there'll be loads of fun and inspiration. Live demonstration from the design team and Tracy herself. For my video today, I'm going to be using these fabulous MDF hanging discs. Now with those, you get six in a pack. So they're just like these, and then you can create your own little artwork onto them. We're going to use an off-cut piece of multifarious card to do our artwork on and some watercoloured pencils and these ones are the Kino watercolour pencils so I've just popped them into a case and they're ready to be used. To go around the edge to give this lovely gold shimmer I'm going to be using these starry night colours so you've got these beautiful colours and they're just lovely to add a bit of luxury to your cards so for our stamping we're going to use Versafine Claire Versafine Claire morning mist and I use that to stamp the sentiment Versafine Claire shady lane and that's to stamp the trees in second generation and our beautiful woodland fern. Versafine Claire Fallen Leaves and that's to stamp our sacred bridge. A white and a yellow Pusca pen just to create some little details around the bridge. A gold metallic uniball pen just to draw a freehand circle around the edge. A stardust glitter pen just to add a bit of shimmer to our river and stardust stickles just to give some sparkle to the top of our bridge. You'll also need some glue and I'm using Bibbity Bobbity glue which is just perfect for doing MDF projects with. So for the stamps we're going to use Bridge Your Dreams, Small Sacred Bridge, Woodland Fern, and this is the small one, and the tree scene, and I'm using this tree, but in second generation. So, let's get started. For today's video, I thought of using one of these MDF hanging discs and you get six in a pack. So we're going to use a piece of multifarious card. So I've just got a piece here and then with my pencil I'm just going to draw around roughly our disc and then we're just going to cut this out but I'm not going to cut it properly, I'm just going to roughly cut a square. So I've placed the small sacred bridge onto a stamping block. And to ink it up, I'm going to use Versafine Claire Fallen Leaves. So let's just ink that up. And then we're going to stamp onto our circle. So now we just want to come just below halfway. So I think I'm going to aim roughly there. Then press it down. Just giving chance for that ink to absorb into the card. So nice firm press down. 
just so that we get all of those little fine details. And there we have our beautiful bridge. So now we need to add some colour to it. To start off with, I'm using number 25 of the Kiyonor watercolour pencils. So I'm just going to gently just colour in front of the bridge, but just leaving a gap for the water. So roughly colour it in and then we're just going to create a bit of a hill in the distance. So we're just going to get that coming down here, get that bridge and sort of create like a hill shape in the distance. So now we're going to use some water and we're just going to dip our brush in, take the excess off so that our brush isn't too wet and we're just going to blend this lovely green into our card. And again, just creating our hill in the distance. And again on the other side. So now we just need to give this a quick dry with our heat gun. Let's just 
just move that to one side and we're going to go back to using our disc. So I'm going to use these fabulous gold watercoloured paints. So I'm going to go and use the light gold. So with my brush and some of my water. I'm going to wet my brush, put it into the light gold. So this will get this color activated and going. So we just want to get that going. And then around the edge, we're just gonna put this lovely gold shimmer. So you'll be able to see that lovely gold shimmer all the way around our lovely disc. So now we can start to cut out our disc. So I'm just going to go just on the outside of our circle we drew. So let's just go around, around. So I'm going back to the MDF plaque and I'm going to use some of this fabulous Bibbity Bobbity glue. So we're just going to go around the edge yeah, and then just cover the middle with it. Yeah, so we're just going to spread that around just by using that nozzle around that circle, around that hole there. And now we're going to place this on top. Now you're going to need to lift this up and with some light you'll be able to find out where the hole is. And just make sure that it's your bridge is straight. And then I'm just going to use my scoring tool just to spread that glue around so let's just get that done and now we can just trim off any excess you'll be able to see so let's just go around with a pair of scissors Then I'm just going to use an old nail file and we're just going to go around the edge now, just getting that lovely neat edge. So once you've done all the sanding around just to get that lovely smooth edge, you can either go around and touch up the gold, but I love the distress look to it. So now we're going to move on to do some stamping. So I'm going to use this tree scene collection and I'm going to use this tree here which I've already got onto a small stamping block. I'm just going to get some copier paper and then to stamp with we're going to use Versa Fine Claire Shady Lane. So let's just ink that tree up and we're going to do it in second generation. So we're just going to pop that onto the copier paper and then we're just going to pop this into 
the distance here. So let's just get that to tree there. It doesn't matter if you don't get it all because we can touch it up with pencil and then again stamp off onto the copy of paper and then stamp it on to our background there. So now I'm going to use the small woodland fern. So let's just ink that up. And now we're just going to place this around the bottom. So I think we can go one here. Let's move it around, have it in different positions. Always looks better. So again, let's have some of that there. Another one up on there and here. And I think we could just do one there. And let's just have some in second generation, just to fill the gaps up. There. So now I'm going to use a gold uniball pen and we're just going to draw around the edge here. So let's just do a freehand of going right round the edge here. So if I lift that up, you might be able to see that lovely gold line around the edge. So now we need to add our sentiment over the bridge. And as you can see, if we place it over, it's just a little bit big. So what we're going to do is put it onto our stamping block and just bend it a bit more. So we just get, hold our finger on one side and just bring that around. And then we're just going to measure that over. So I just want that reality a bit more inwards. So just take your time, just seeing how it fits over your bridge. Yeah, I think that will work well. So once you're happy with the shape of your sentiment, I'm going to use Versafine Clear Morning Mist. So we're just going to ink this up now. And fingers crossed this works out. So let's just pull that down. No stamping platform today, so let's just, shall we just go for it? Yeah, just go, so gently lower it on, stamp it down. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Bridge your dreams and make it reality. Okay, so now we just need to use a pokey pen or pokey tool, poke a hole through, and then we're going to go from the front, and then we're just going to push that all the way through. I'm just going to take that glue off. There. So now I'm going to use some of this fabulous thread that's available from the website. And I think we could just use this little piece here. So now we're just going to push that through our work and through the disc. Let's just get that going. There. Pull it through, slip it through the loop. And there we are, our plaques ready to hang up. But we just need to add a bit of work now. So I'm going to use a Stardust glitter pen. And all we're going to do now is just draw some quick lines on the river here. So let's just draw some quick lines there. A white and yellow Posca pen just to do some little dots just around our bridge 
you just do the little clumps as if they're little daisies or something and then a yellow again just around our bridge and then I'm going to use Stickles Stardust and with this I'm just going to place it on the bridge so it just acts like little lights on our bridge and that's all finished and ready to hang up I'll just quickly show you one that I've done before and this is the small green man and he just fits perfectly onto these small discs and using this fabulous new stamp this is the botanical bud set and I've just stamped it onto the disc and then on the back it just says never let go of your dreams and they're just fabulous little projects to do. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the fabulous spring extravaganza. Take care and bye for now. Bye.